guest is a comedian who starred in the HBO series Lucky Louie. Please welcome very funny guy, Louis C.K. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Uh, good. Hey, guys. Nice to be here. I had a good day. I, um, I went shopping today. I had to buy a, a, a belt because my pants... Uh, here, here's the problem. Uh, you know when you get fat and uh, your, first your pants get tight and then uh, you get fatter because it's not like, oh, well, stop eating. <laughs> and then, and then you, all your pants hurt. Like every pair of pants hurts. And, and then you eat even more because more you're like, screw it now, man, and you just get depressed. But here's what happens. If you get fat enough, your belly starts to push out, and your pants won't even hang in the normal place. And then they get down to your pelvis, and then they feel loose, and you're like, hey, losing weight, all right, I'm coming down. I get some... I ate my way through to the other side. I've gotten... Ri Look at this. This is ridiculous. I have... This is... The, the crazy part is that my belly hits my pelvis at a right angle. It just goes right in. Like when I'm in the shower and I'm scrubbing, when I get down there, I gotta cut in like this. I actually have to scrub. Or else that gets filthy down there. It's like a... It is. It's like a theater seat. I find pennies and receipts and stuff. Yeah. And the worst part is I'm 39, so it's not like I'm gonna get better. This is it or a lot worse for the rest of my life. It's not like I'm going to be all ripped when I'm 48. It's over. And uh, I got tits, too. I just got, I just got boobs. I got boobs on my body. How depressing is that? That is a really weird moment in a guy's life when you catch your boobs in the mirror and you get all these weird feelings, you know? They must be the same feelings that a teenage girl has when her, it's the only thing that a 12-year-old girl and a 40-year-old man have in common is that moment when you're going, nothing. You got to carry your books like this. It's depressing. I, I think it's because uh, I eat uh, huge amounts of food all the time. I was at a party recently uh, for my daughter and her, she had, her friend of hers had a party, so I had to be in a room full of awful people at a birthday party. And, uh, but then there was a plate of cookies. And once I saw the cookies, I'm like, that's, all of this is that now. I'm going to eat every cookie. And you got to have like a strategy for how often you go to the cookie plate and keep rediscovering it like you haven't seen it. The first time you see it, you're like, oh, my, somebody brought cookies. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. You got to go like this, like, uh, I don't have to have one, but I don't want to insult anybody and you eat one. I can take it or leave it. You walk away the whole time. Radar back there. <laughs> Later on, different group of people around. Yeah, I want the cookies. Somebody, but da, 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 da. if people start to notice how much you're eating them, you have to say something like, "These are crazy. What's with these cookies? They're weird." It's like, no, it's not that you're a fat piece of crap that can't stop eating. They're insane cookies. I love all food. I like food from other countries. I was in Chinatown. I know that's not another country, but I was uh, <laughs> in Chinatown, and I went to, the, uh, to, to the, this grocery store, and they had weird food in there. They had, I swear to God, they had duck vaginas. They had duck vaginas <laughs> in a big barrel with a scoop stuck in it. <laughs> and I'm looking at these duck vaginas. First of all, I'm thinking, could we possibly dominate a species more than that? <laughs> And that we're selling their vaginas in barrels? <laughs> the ducks are like, dudes, uh, enough already with that. I didn't get any. I didn't buy any because I don't want to know. What if I love duck vaginas? What if I... <laughs> oh, I love duck vaginas. They're so good. It's not like a million things taste like a duck vagina. Four in the morning, I gotta have a duck vagina right now. <laughs> Chinatown's closed. I gotta go to the park with a knife. Where's a duck? Thank you very much, folks. Very Hello, this is always Louis C.K. Talk to him in just a second. Sit around.
With Louis C.K., uh, Louis, uh, first of all, uh, the DVD of Lucky Louis, your show, uh, comes out uh, January 30th. That's right. And I have to think this show probably was a profound experience for you. It, yeah. it, I thought it was a very funny show. It, did it change you. your life doing the show? Yeah, a lot. I mean, I, I, uh, being on HBO was cool, and I, I got to go to the HBO Emmy party. Which and is, everyone says, that's the coolest party to go to. It's the greatest, yeah. yeah. And I didn't belong there. I didn't feel like I did. But mm -hmm. there I was, and, uh, and I went to the Sopranos table, because those people are unreal to me, you know? Right. And so I just sort of stood around and uh you stood near the surprise yeah, so first there. you went from i was yeah, yeah you went from i went over to like hi yeah. everybody louis ck yeah, yeah. to amending your story to i stood around there i yeah. stood i stood around the sopranos and uh, uh gandolfini was really nice he said like i saw your show i i laughed right like he said it like that like he can't say anything directly you know right, that monster right. thing and right do you think it was funny i laughed that's all i'm willing to say but uh <laughs> paulie walnuts came up to me paulie walnuts and he just goes uh yeah lucky louie like, like, jab me in the chest like that. Right. Yeah, right. Lucky Louie. And I'm like, yeah. And he says, uh, yeah, that show, let me tell you something. You got to hire some new writers because that show's a piece of <laughs> And I was like... <laughs> he said, you got to fix it. You're going to be committing Harry Carey within a year. That's so awful. He's like, I turned it on. I was like, oh, what is this <laughs> Like, he's just hated it. Uh-huh. And uh, I wrote the show, too, so I... But I, I did. <laughs> So the, but there's no way yeah. I'm going to go, well, see here, Mr. Walnuts. You know, yeah. I was, How dare you, no, and I was Mr. really Walnuts. honored that I got to meet real... That's meeting Polly Walnuts. Sure, It would sure. have been disappointing if he was like, I really enjoy your show. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You met the real guy. I met the actual Did he character. start hitting you with a baseball bat? And a little like, bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Do you... You know, you're a very funny comic. I've watched, you know, uh, your act uh, a lot over the years, and you talk a lot, of course, about being married and mm -hmm. being a, you know, dad. Do you, you, do you miss... Anything about being single, the single life? Because, you know, you, you do a lot of material about, you know, you obviously love your kids and your wife, but you... I do, I do. But there's a lot of avoidance in being a dad. Like, I love to run errands. Mm -hmm. Like, the other day, I flushed all the toilet paper down the uh, toilet so I could go like, get out of the house, you know, have something right, to do. Right, right. Um, we love errands. Dads love errands. Yeah. But uh, oh, anything. I'll go paper towels. I'll go to the paper towel factory in Nova Scotia and get them right now. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, but I don't miss being single, because I hated that. You didn't like being single? No, I wasn't good at it. I didn't know how to um, get with women. I, I, I had one I had one. <laughs> Maybe it's the woman. way you phrased it. Yeah, get with <laughs> I wish to I get would, with you. I wish to get with you. If that's possible, yes. contact my lawyer. I wish to have you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was with one really hot woman once, and uh, she got very drunk and slept with me. And the next morning, she, I remember her looking down at me, and she was so horrified. And what? she just looked at me like, ugh, like, I feel, like, she had felt like she had raped herself with me, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I, I saw her... Oh, God. I saw her questioning everything that led up to being with me. Yeah. And I realized, like, I am somebody's rock-bottom moment. <laughs> like, I am Terrible. the moment in someone's life where they looked at me and went, okay, I gotta stop all of this crap. I gotta reconcile with my dad. I gotta go back to school. <laughs> no more crystal meth. Yeah. Yeah. So. That stops now. Yeah. Well, the HBO special Louis C.K. Shameless That's is gonna right. air January 13th yep. at 10 o'clock p.m. And the series Lucky Louis is gonna be in stores January 30th. Yep. And uh, thank you so much. Thank You've always you. been a good friend of us. Louis C.K., always funny. Our thanks to Jared Miller for stopping by and throwing animals at me. Our thanks to Dulé Hill for being here. Of course, you got your Max Weinberg. You got your Max Weinberg shaving over there. Get you in the last call with Carson Daly, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>